I mean, one thing that I think we probably, well, not me personally, but you guys do better than mm. than everyone else is the sort of the scouting and the the match analysis and involved in the in the preparation for for us getting on court and and playing. Um, I mean, how? I mean, maybe you can just talk a little bit about how what goes into that and maybe how that sort of developed over the last few years because it has it has changed a lot, hasn't it? Yeah, but first we're quite privileged because the LTA put some performance analysis at yeah. our service. So not only the opponent, our scout, but your own game. So we have every point being tagged. So for let's say for scouting, I could say, I want to see all the second serve of the opponent, what they've done in the first two, three matches. And and every time they poach, I want to see that. Or every time they do eye formation, I want to see how they do that. So with the tagging system done at the LTA, I can go specifically and get all the information that I want. On yeah. the other hand, <coughs> Alan, Alan McDonald, who travels with you full time and we work together as your coaches. Uh, Alan scout everyone and come back. And what, what do you look for? We heard that word anticipation, but people take anticipation is to find out what the opponent will do all the time. What we look to do is to see what the opponent never do. So if we know that someone never do that, that's very, very important because yeah. you don't have to worry about that. Yeah, yeah. If guys never lob, you can stay closer. If the guy never serve uh, a tee um, or wide a second serve, which many players don't do, yeah. but you know, you can also cheat your position and reinforce. Yeah. So we do that. We try to look at their patterns. We try to see when they do, especially like eye formation, do they open the line a lot or not? Uh, yeah, we try to look at the patterns, but we it, uh, the key thing for a coach is to manage all the time how much information hmm. we give you. So to give an example, <coughs> The year he won the U.S. Open, I analyzed because they have played four rounds before. I put three, four hours. Alan put four hours and someone of the LTA put three hours. So we were having 11 hours of information on their opponents. Just before the match or close to the match, I had so much information and I decided to say, sorry, Jamie, just <laughs> go and shine. Yeah. I just wanted to uh, innate a bit your passion, your peak performance they yeah, more than give that, you yeah. a lot of information so it's always tricky as a coach you want as much information as you may want to have or need but the way you transmit it to the players sometimes it could be a lot of information if you are especially underdog you need yeah, to yeah. do more but when you are the dog um, when you're a favorite and all this sometimes to keep it simple and be sure you play your game style in a peak performance state yeah sometimes yeah that Sometimes that gets me, doesn't it? If I get like too much information and I just overthinking about what, yeah. you know, where I should be serving, where they might serve, where they might return, like who's yeah. crossing, who's not, like, and then to the point that yeah. you just you just can't play. Like, and often I'm like, well, at the end of the day, I'm still one of the best players in the world. So if I go out and play my game and play it well, yeah. you know, it's going to be more than a match for anybody else on the other side of the of the net, isn't it? Yeah, and right now you're on the stage of your career where this is exactly what I want to focus on. Yeah. You play your game, you bring the uncertainty, you bring so much variation that people have to adapt to you. And don't adapt so much to people. You need some basic one, but uh, just go there, implement your game style, and uh, you're different. So it's tough for people to adjust to you. Yeah. As a lot of people play the same way. So you use it's easy for you to adapt to them. It's tough for them to adapt to you. So go there, enjoy. And uh, <clears throat> at the time we speak, I wish you at least one slam this year. Yeah. The next one will be the French and hopefully Wimbledon. Yeah. Okay, all the best. <laughs> Cheers, Louis.